All right, we are the first generation of parents or aunts and uncles, godparents raising families on social media. But what are the effects of that? Is it bringing us together or making us feel inadequate? Today's parents surveyed 1,000 Canadian parents to get their thoughts. Sasha Emmons joins us, editor in chief, this morning. Good to see you. Good to have. Good to be here. Thank you very much. So the full results of the survey will be released today. Right. And that's on your Facebook page? Yeah, on todaysparent.com, on our Facebook page, on Twitter. Just follow us on all our social accounts. Okay, so let's take a look at the biggest uses for social media. So you rounded that up. That was one of the things you looked at. Yeah, so overall, we wanted to find out, you know, parenting in the age of social media has been around for about 13 years. Facebook started in 2004. And we really wanted to see what have been the effects of it? Have it has it made parenting easier? Has it made it harder? Mm -hmm. Has it uh, helped us be more honest about what family life is really like? Or has it created this facade of perfection that we feel like we all need to live up to? So yeah. the results are really interesting. Overall, uh, most parents told us that they felt like overall social media has been something that's connected them to other parents and to family members and been a positive thing. It's been a help versus a hindrance because they feel right. like they have a support system even if they might not have it within their school or their family or neighborhood. Right, you can find your people on social yeah. media. If you can't find your people in real life, you can find them on social media. Okay. So 75% of uh, parents say they use it to stay in touch. That's really the biggest use of social media. Okay, and then 25% use it to connect with other parents. Right. Uh, so find support for whatever they're going through or crowdsource advice. Uh, and then 45% use it to share the cute things their kids say or do, which, of course, we all do that. Okay, and how much is too much? Do you touch upon the TMI factor? <laughs> yes, absolutely. So TMI was a very buzzy subject in this survey. So this is really funny math because 69% said that they think that their friends overshare, <laughs> but only 24% would admit to actually oversharing themselves. So something is not adding up right there. Yeah. And so when that happens, there's also, I love that you examine real life stories and scenarios where people are sharing. Sometimes it can strengthen a bond or something with a family member or friend. Sometimes it could tear you apart when you start evaluating how they use or support or don't support you on social media right. when you're disappointed. So our survey uh, also is accompanied by a whole bunch of points of view essays from real parents. So, you know, we have someone whose kid went viral as a meme. We have uh, a perspective from a parent who doesn't share any photos of their, their mm -hmm. children on social media. They, the privacy issues just freak them out. Uh, we, we also uh, have an essay from a mom whose son was born very early and she chronicled it all from the NICU. Uh, so I think you're really seeing the difference between a generation ago when you know all you could do was email and mm -hmm. call people on the phone and now you can chronicle every single little detail i i've seen that myself i have a 12 year old and a seven year old the 12 year old i wasn't on facebook we sent out an email when she was born that seems so old-fashioned now yeah. uh, by the by the time my son was born four years later uh, he was in the NICU. We were chronicling everything from the NICU, sharing, you know, big sister, meeting her little brother for the first time. So it's just changed everything. Yeah, more info will be available. This is fascinating. We're just scratching the surface on uh, today's parent on your Facebook page. We're actually going to have a Facebook Live here in a little bit as Kat and Nat, the social media super moms, yeah. will be here to discuss how they navigate being a mom on social media and what they do for their kids as well. So thanks, Sasha, for the time today.